Hey guys, Vince Hurtado here for Trapper Tackle. I'm going to go through some of the benefits of uh, Trapper Tackle and the products that we have available and kind of break things down to introduce the benefits um, over you know various other models types of hooks. So in order to do so, what I want to do is briefly talk about the original hook that's made, our typical round J, whether it's offset or a straight shank, um, things to know about this hook. So they either come in a, a needle point or they come in a cutting edge type of point. They either come in an offset or they come in a straight shank or various other types of um, saltwater models or uh, technique types of models. But they all have one thing in common and there is a straight J type of hook here around Ben. So what happens with our traditional hooks, um, they will pierce through the, the fish's mouth. And once it's in, uh, you're going to have one or two things happen. Number one, if it's a cutting edge like some of our uh, other products out there on the market, it has like these four types of uh, blades that come through the mouth or somewhere into the fish. And as it comes in, because it's a blade, it provides a slicing types of, type of mechanism. So what happens now is once it slices or lacerates um, into the fish, you have that pressure within it. So it's made a cut, so to speak. So what happens now with the pressure, you're going to create a larger hole as the fish moves or there's, there's various type of uh, movement within the bait in the, in the fish's mouth. So you're creating a bigger hole and actually increasing your chances for the hook to come out and slide out. The other um, thing to understand with our traditional uh, round bin or J-style hooks is once it's in, you create a cantering uh, motion because there's nothing to stop um, the fish from moving back and forth on the hook. Just this barb here on the on the side, which tends to do the job for the most part. We've been doing it for 40,000 years, but we have that motion. So what we've done at Trapper is we've designed uh, something a bit different. Um, as you can see, um, here is our hook with a our what we call the Trapper box. If we look at it just like this, it looks just like a regular hook. And for sizing purposes, Trapper has designed our hooks to accommodate the same type of sizes um, from other type of uh, manufacturers. So let me break this down now. This is not a cutting edge. It's what's called a piercing point. It's round. It goes in. Once it pierces, you have a small hole that doesn't have any lacerations on any side, so it alleviates the opportunity or chances to rip within the fish's mouth. The other thing is, is once the hook penetrates into the fish's mouth, okay, it comes in this way and it rotates in, and then what happens is it creates this locking mechanism. So the fish will literally come right through here and it turns when it turns in there's really no way to come out what happens is if you took this point right here and you put it in this way or let's just go this way how can that come out you can't rotate it backwards right you can't you can't do this because you have pressure on the top and you can't come down because you have pressure on the bottom. So the only way for this hook to come out is straight out, but then you have a barb. So you've, we've created a really good mousetrap within the trapper box, so to speak. Um, if the fish actually does come through, it's got to pass one, two, three nineties down in here. And once it's down there, usually what happens is this other piece of the top box comes back in re-piercing and the fish now has to overcome one, two, three nineties and a barb in order to get out. That in itself um, is very difficult. Um, we've got several fish catches on film um, that basically prove the theory that it's quite difficult for them to come out. With that said, um, the other thing to understand is we don't put any coating on our hook at all. The products that we developed at Trapper are just, they're heat treated and they're just our, our good quality steel. I'm in the medical industry and if it was pertinent to 
coat any type of steel to allow the steel to go into a person's body a little bit easier or faster, the medical industry would be doing it. Hence, they are not. It's straight steel, it's sharp, it's a needle point, they want it in, they want it out. They don't want any type of lacerations after the hook is pierced into the skin. All right, so that's that's the benefits. That's kind of the 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 whole breakdown of the round bend versus the trapper hook.